Carroll and James um, Eddington are um, have partners with me on this. And Carol is taking all the um, waste food that still has roots, cuttings, and uh, regrowing the plants. So all of this is what most people throw away in their kitchen. And she's getting it to reestablish and grow. So all of the garlic, all of the onions, the shallots over there, um, tomatoes. Celery too. Celery, yep. So you know, potatoes and peas, uh, that, all of that. So, just getting started. Oh, no. Ollie, we're filming, sweetie. Hop out of the way. Um, you know, what's interesting is that for seed lovers, uh, doing the regrowing from scraps, it almost always bolts. So it instantly goes to seed. And so you get like, you know, from that food waste, you get what would be equivalent of like $9 worth of seeds. Yep. It's amazing. Yep. So... Whether you eat the produce or you're growing it for seed, if you know what you're doing, you're basically getting the plant for free. All that food is totally free. In the upper part of the garden, we stopped doing the four treatments in the bed. And so the comparisons here are always the control and then the plus biology. And this is both compost and extract going on. So again, lots of seeds. We harvested this. Um, we had beets and um, another early spring crop in here. And so, you know, looking at the difference of, like the, uh, I think this is kale. At that end is the chemical treatment, and this is the plus biology, and you can see the difference. Now just the color. Mm -hmm. One is purple and stressed, and the other is green. Yeah. And so, going along further and further in the season, come back in another two weeks, three weeks, and a lot of these comparisons will be even more striking. So I think I've seen this in the store, because in the store you get the really dark fibrous kale, and then at home, all of our kale, even the same variety, is just like butter. Yeah, yeah, and it's, you're, if people understood the nutrition that they aren't getting um, versus what they can and one of the things we want to do is to start measuring those differences so I have a refractometer that at harvest we will do those differences and uh, want to do some vitamin assessment we want to look at the kind of protein that's in that plant material where we're using the conventional approach versus the biological approach so that people can start to have some solid data where year after year after year of developing the biology in the bed, exactly how much does that improve nutrition for human beings? So uh, ultimately what it means is if you've got a really healthy um, plant and you're eating it, you are providing all the protein, all the vitamins, all the minerals, all the nutrients that your body requires. And so you don't have to eat as much. So the, the whole complaint that with the organic world, it costs so much, uh, you know, you have to pay so much more money. Yeah, except you eat less. You don't have to consume so much. It's easier in the digestion, so you're less likely, you know, to wear those things out. Yep. You don't end up with the stomach aches. So let's head to the upper part of the garden. So we'll get over here in the shade a little bit. Natasha, not on the bed. Natasha, come here. Here. Sit. Sit. Stay. Holly. Natasha, Natasha, here. So on a lot of these, it's kind of, guess which one is the plus biology, guess which one is the, is the control, and it's, it's just really easy to pick them apart. Natasha, come here. I'm going to put you on your leash. That's all there is to it, till you calm down. So with the, with the peas, we've harvested once on all the peas, and uh, 
It's a little difficult at this point to tell the plus biology from the um, uh, conventional system, but if you really start counting the number of um, stocks, we're a lot lower density in the um, conventional treatment versus the plus biology. That bed, it's even more apparent which one is the uh, no added biology. the conventional yep and then this is the plus biology here and you can really see the difference mm -hmm. same with the lettuce running over I, the I don't walk out just uh, kind of same with our dog. 